Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you exactly how to use Apple Notes. That's the note-taking app that comes with your iPhone, your iPad, and your Mac. I'm gonna show you here on the iPhone, but it basically works the same on the iPad and the Mac as well. And I'm gonna show you 10 things in this video that most people don't know about Apple Notes that makes it a whole lot more useful. Apple Notes looks like this. This is the icon for it. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up here and walk you through exactly how to use it and I'll go through the more advanced 10 tips as we go through. But on the very homepage of Apple Notes, you may not have any folders yet. So mine is set up on iCloud because I back up my phone with iCloud and whatever I do on my iPhone syncs up to my iPad and it syncs up to my Mac too. That's one of the main reasons I like Apple Notes because I could just sync it up with all my devices without pressing anything. It just automatically does it. So to get started with Apple Notes, just to keep things nice and organized, I always start with this icon down here and I create a folder and you could create one on your phone that will be local so then it won't sync up with other devices. But if you have a Mac or iPad, you may wanna use the iCloud option here. And you could use smart folders and you could use regular folders. I'll just use regular folders, but you may wanna look at smart folders when you get more advanced because they let you do things with tags and it makes things a little bit more searchable. But a new folder is just like a regular folder that you may have on your computer, for example. And here, I'll go ahead and name this folder, and let's go ahead and press save on that. And it's gonna create a folder just like this. So all these other folders you see to organize everything I do, I created just like that, and they're all just regular folders, no smart folders on this page. Now, inside of each folder, you could have individual notes, which is this icon. So to create one, I'm gonna to go to this folder right here and I'll create the note here so it automatically gets organized in the tutorial folder. And I'll go ahead and press this and this would be iPhone notes. So that's the basic structure of notes. Anytime you could go back up here to that folder and you could go back one more time to see all your folders here and you could search for anything on top. In this case, let me show you exactly the different types of things you could do once you're inside of the note besides simply just typing your notes. So we'll go through some of the most popular things you could do here. And number one is you can make checklists, which really come in handy. You could press this option right here and type out a checklist here with a number checklist and it will create more bullet points here. So this would be two, this would be three, and then you would write whatever you want. And if I press done on top, I could go ahead and check out my to-dos just like that in this note. Number two is called gallery view. So let me go to a different folder here that has multiple notes. This one has 172. And if you press the three dots right on top, there is something called gallery view which lets you look at notes this way instead of the first way that is by default, which is the list view. But you could always toggle back and forth between those two views. Now, the third thing I'll show you is pinning notes. So when you have a lot of notes, like 172 in this case, let's say I wanna pin this note, I could press and hold down on it and I could pin the notes and it will show up like this on top. So it makes it a lot easier to find when you have a whole bunch of new notes to choose from. You can also lock notes. So if I press and hold on a note, I could actually lock this note, put a passcode so nobody could actually get to this note if they don't know the password for that note, making it a lot more secure. So if you store sensitive information, make sure you set this up. You can also share your notes. So again, if you press and hold on a note, we looked at pinning and locking a note, but sharing a note is very useful because you could share it with other people here using message, mail, or different social media platforms here. So that is very, very handy if you just wanna take a note and share it with someone else. And if you press sharing option right here, you could make more advanced searches like view only so they can't make changes, but if you want them to add, they could add to the note if this is checked on up here. Number six is very straightforward, but very handy. You could actually go inside of any note that you have and then you could go ahead and search within this note as well. So I could press the three dots right here and I could say find in note. This is different than the search that you have in the previous page. This searches specifically this note, making it faster to find results. You could also create handwritten notes. So I'm gonna press the note option in this folder and there is this option that looks like a marker. So this lets you highlight things, but it also gives you this tool for 
writing things with your finger and you could choose any color you want. So I'll just stick with white here, but you could go ahead and write whatever you want or draw whatever you want here on your notes. By the way, anytime you want to delete a note, you just have to slide on it here. You could archive it in a different folder, share it, or just press delete and it will get rid of that note from your phone or iCloud. There's a really useful one called lines and grids. So when you create a note here, you could actually turn on lines and grids. That's up here, press the three dots, lines and grids, and it lets you choose from any number of things you see over here. So if you wanted an option like this here, you could turn your background this way into a grid. And you could easily add photos to a note here too. Right on the bottom, there is the camera option. You could select this, you could choose photos or videos that are already on your phone, take them, and you could even scan documents, which basically allows you to get a cleaner version of that document than a photo or video. But those are all available to you on any single note. And lastly, I'll show you smart folders on how they work. I'll go over here, let's create one on iCloud and new smart folder. And the way smart folders work is you could actually select different tags to go along with your folder and then it makes them a lot easier to be able to search using tags as well instead of just using the search tab. Those are some of my favorite things you could do with the Notes app and they do improve it all the time with every iOS update. I hope you found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up if you found some value in this video and I'll see you next time.